Colorado has seen a significant increase in auto thefts over the last couple of years. In fact, Colorado State Patrol reports last year there was a 57% increase in the number of cars reported stolen statewide. Here in the Pikes Peak region, the crooks continue to cash in on puffers. Those vehicles left running with nobody inside. Well, we had a pretty big loss this morning and um, somebody had stolen his truck. Bree Monks is trying to warn neighbors after her husband's truck was stolen from right in front of her family's home just a few days ago. She says her husband left it running. He ran inside, grabbed his coffee and his lunch, and I guess it only took him about a minute or so. And um, he turned around and came outside and felt really confused when his truck was just gone in the front of our home. Moving recently from a home out in the country, Bree says her family quickly learned thieves are actively looking for these puffer situations. We have a neighbor a couple houses down, I guess, last spring his truck was stolen from right out front also when he had started it. So. After talking with people, I've heard that that's actually a thing that people do around here is they look for trucks warming up. And the Colorado Springs Police Department's crime stats show this is a year-round problem that spikes during the cold months. In 2021, there have been at least 182 crimes like this. And as reports continue to be processed, investigators tell me they expect the numbers in November and December to only increase. If they can get in that car, it is gone in no time whatsoever. Crime prevention officer Scott Mathis has worked to combat these puffer thefts for years and says people need to realize how that stolen car is being used once it leaves their driveway in the wrong hands. They use these vehicles to go and commit other crimes. While the crooks typically aren't picky when it comes to puffers, take a good look at this list. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, these were the most commonly stolen vehicles in Colorado last year. Investigators say whether your car is on this list or not, a stolen car is a major public safety and officer safety issue. So they will ram law enforcement. They will ram other people. They don't care about that. And yeah, they do use them to commit other violent crimes. And when it comes to people stealing cars, investigators say they often see familiar faces. We have prolific offenders. We can arrest people dozens of times for stealing motor vehicles. They will go serve a short sentence. They will, you know, um, they will be out in a few days before their courts further down. Guess what they're doing? They're out stealing cars again. We arrest repeat offenders all the time. It's why victims and officers agree limiting opportunities for our cars to be stolen is the most important step to keep people safe. Just take your keys with you and take them with you everywhere you go, like even if it's just right in the front of your house. Investigators say it's very important to report stolen vehicles as soon as possible and to share surveillance video that might help. If you want to take another look at the crime stats and the list of most stolen vehicle types in our state, you can find all that information on our website right now, koaa.com. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.